bread, but think about a bread with cranberry and pistachios or walnuts in it. Think about using some of those beautiful olives in your bread with a little bit of prosciutto and some cheese as well. You can make anything, bake anything. This is Dash's 1.5 pound bread baker. They have 12 presets, simple, easy. You put everything in here, just put the ingredients in, you put the top down, you pick whatever you want, and then this does everything. It mixes it, it kneads it, it lets it rest. It does, puts it right into that perfect little ball for you, and then it bakes it. It's so incredibly smart. We have this on our sale price today, $84.99. And I will tell you, just the first day that you wake up, or that you are in your house and the bread is baking, that fresh bread baking, you are gonna understand why, you, that, why every single penny you spent on this is worth it. Because those are the memories that last an entire lifetime, the smell of fresh baked bread. Look how beautifully the bread is to look at the consistency of it, the texture of it, and then not only that, but look at the crust on that. It is perfect all the way around. Kelly, you know what, when you think about, when you go into some of these artisanal stores, um, there's an Italian store I'm thinking of locally. When I go in there and I buy a loaf of bread, I think of what I, what I spend for that. I don't even know if it was baked that day or not. Yeah. Pennies it costs with the flour and the yeast and everything. Pennies compared to Absolutely. the amount that you pay at that bakery. Well, also, Alice, you control your ingredients. Right. Are you gluten-free? Would you like to do less sugar? Would you like to do less sodium? Okay, I know it's like still warm, but it is fall, my friend, and I am in, I'm just want that new season to come. We did a beautiful pumpkin bread, and then at the top, we did our pumpkin seeds. There is nothing better, in my opinion, than your home smelling of fresh baked bread. Look at how beautiful oh, that came out. That looks okay, fantastic. Whether it's, I mean, do you not want to just reach through... <laughs> and grab that. And then the other thing is just your white breads. We just pulled this one out. And of course, if you just picked up on our Thea, can you imagine getting fresh homemade white bread and dipping it into your brand new Thea olive oil? There's nothing better in my opinion than a homemade bread, whether it's white, whether it's wheat, whether it's gluten-free, whether it's your pumpkin bread, there's just nothing better. In fact, I went to order candles on that website, you know, that sells all the candles, and they had a candle that was fresh baked bread scent. <laughs> that is, blows my mind. That's so crazy. I know, isn't that crazy? <laughs> so with the pandemic, I know everybody started baking bread, right? And now you can do it so easily. It doesn't have to be difficult. I'll just show you quickly, Alice, how simple it is, because I know you know. But you're getting the unit itself. And then you're getting the nonstick loaf pan right on the inside, and you can choose between a one pound loaf or a one and a half pound loaf. You're getting your paddle, and your paddle just sits right inside, okay? So you just seat it right inside. You have 12 presets. So this is not like you have to figure out what to do. Dash has literally made this so simple for you. So with this bread, I'm just gonna do a French loaf, but you could do a gluten-free bread, you could do the pumpkin bread. You always wanna do your liquids first. So that was water. Here's my tablespoon of my thaya. So I'm gonna use my thaya inside my bread. Can you imagine how delicious that's gonna be? And then I'm using um, flour. This could be gluten-free flour and then sugar and salt. And then you pour that on the inside. And so think of these ingredients. We all have these already. I mean, you probably have the ingredients in your home to make fresh bread. And then this is my yeast, okay? So I'm just gonna pop my yeast in. That's all I've done, Alice, I've done. I'm, I've made bread, like I now am a fresh bread maker. I mean, that's how simple it is, right? It's so crazy. I can close it, it's crazy. And then I'm gonna select from my menu, which one? So I can just go up and down and I can select ultra fast, sweet bread, gluten-free bread, artisan dough. And then I can select my crust. So are you a light, a medium or a dark crust girl, Alice? I like it dark. Okay, so we're gonna do the dark crust. And then I'm making either a one pound loaf, so I choose my loaf size, and then I hit start. And now come close, I wanna show you, it's starting to mix my bread, it will knead it. <laughs> Look at it that. It will then proof it for me, okay? So it will sit and let it proof. And then Alice, here's the really cool thing. It has a trap door. If I want rosemary or Asiago cheese or walnuts in my bread, 
I place them there and it knows when to drop it. It's a trap door. It will drop it at the exact time it needs to, and then it will bake it, and then it will keep it warm. It's too it much. It does everything. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> I mean, imagine fresh baked bread and the smell of rosemary all put together. Oh my God. Okay, add a little I mean, Asiago cheese in there, and then, okay, I'm, oh. I'm over the moon. It's, it's, it's just, this is pure, pure food heaven because it's so simple it's so easy but the best part is if you've ever made bread and my I grew up my mom actually made fresh bread all the time and okay. loved the smell of it but you know it didn't always turn out quite right if you know what I'm saying because she didn't need it right or she didn't let it right uh, raise the amount of, uh, rise the amount of time it was supposed to none of that it's all gone just add flour, water, yeast, a couple of other things, and let it go. You push a button and you're done. It bakes it. It does everything. If you want to add some extra ingredients, for example, if you want to, you could do a, a cranberry bread. You can do so oh, many yeah. different kinds. And you know, that's what they're doing in all these fine, fine, fine restaurants. And you can do this. You can do it all by yourself. And it's going to be fresh. You know exactly what's in it. You know, maybe more importantly, you know exactly what's not in it. And to get this True. home, it is on sale today, but use the flex payment. There is absolutely no downside to that. Use the flex pay. Split it up on your credit card. It's $17 today. We're going to ship this right out to you. It is a small footprint, too. I, I will tell you, I have um, offered many, many bread makers over the years. This is one of the smallest footprints. It looks great, but you will use this constantly because, Kelly, nothing tastes like it and nothing smells like it. My my grandmother right. in Miami used to live across the street from um, a bakery that made like tens of thousands of loaves of bread. We just go outside and just sit on the step and just you go. You smell it. Oh, so Imagine your home at the holidays, <laughs> Alice, smelling yes. a fresh baked bread. <clears throat> this one that we did here is a cinnamon apple pie oh, full of part gosh. bread. So we, be, and you can now see how do you, the apples. How do you do a pull apart? You can see the caramel. So you actually make the dough right inside the machine. It needs the dough. Then you make the little balls and then you add all the toppings onto the inside and then you pop it back in to bake. Oh, and there's gosh. recipes that come with it too. So this is a cinnamon pull apart bread, like a sticky bread, you know, and you could even dip it in some caramel. You can see the apples and look at the caramel on the back. Mm. So that's a cinnamon apple um, pie bread. And then if you just want it to be simple, you know, and make a wheat bread, this one in here is just a wheat bread. Um, it can be a gluten-free bread. My brother, it has a severe allergy to gluten and he has claimed or proclaimed that every gluten-free bread in the marketplace tastes like cardboard. Yes, and, and so falls we do apart. feel bad for him. Yeah, yeah and, and it all good. falls apart. It all falls apart, right? So we, you know, poor guy, guess what? So I decided to try a gluten-free bread for him and he absolutely Look adored it. That. So I make the gluten-free bread for him and then we freeze it. This bread will freeze. So you could literally make three or four loaves on a Sunday, freeze it up for the remainder of the week and imagine making, you know, a fresh sandwich with fresh homemade wheat bread or your gluten-free bread because it, it freezes perfectly. You can actually put it back in the machine and thaw it in the machine. So from frozen, just pop it right back in here and thaw it out in your bread maker. So this is the bread maker to end all bread makers. It's nice and compact. It has 12 presets. And then to me, this is everything, this little trap door. Because if you want to do like walnuts or Asiago cheese, Parmesan cheese, um, you know, cilantro, uh, little pieces of jalapeno, you place it inside there, you close this, this machine miraculously knows when to drop it into the mixture. You don't even have to sit and babysit and drop it for it. It knows when to drop it into the mixture. So you could put the ingredients, Alice, in the machine and then you could leave for the day. In fact, we baked a loaf last night. We popped the ingredients in and we woke up this morning and it was still warm inside the machine. Oh, it no. baked my bread for me overnight. <laughs> and look at the texture of it. I mean, it really does such a good job in terms of, of prepping the dough so that you don't have to guess about it. It does everything. You're gonna love having it. You're gonna love having the ability to customize it, to personalize it, whether you wanna put something savory in like a prosciutto and some olives or and add that beautiful thea olive oil in there. 
there. If you want to do something sweet with maybe some cranberries and some walnuts, you can do anything you want. Have fun. This is the year. We're making up for lost time. So put everything you've got into it this year. If you've been thinking yeah, about helps. fresh baked bread, but maybe you, you don't even remember those days, because you know, you open up a loaf of bread now, it doesn't have any smell. It's nothing, right? It's just a loaf of bread. You are going to flip out over this. You are going to become obsessed with it. You will become like the, the biggest proponent for this. You will, you will go out there and just tell everybody about the bread maker. It is just an, an experience unlike any other. And Kelly, as we make new food memories, this yes. is one that will last a lifetime. It is, if you have that nostalgia behind it like Alice does, you know, grandma used to have to knead the dough. Can I just show you? Grandma's hands hurt from kneading the dough. Guess what? Grandma would go crazy for this machine. She, ha I haven't touched that. It is kneading the dough for me Look on its that. own. It will Love it. drink the dough, it will let it rise. Um, I gotta tell you, it's just such a nice treat to have it in your kitchen. And Alice, for lunch, I'm doing the pumpkin bread. I oh, am doing a little bit more butter on that. <laughs> and yeah. I am so, so is, jealous. So is the dog. He's <laughs> waiting in the wings here. I'll give him a little bit as well because he's been like desperately waiting to have a little piece of bread. <laughs> oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. Kelly, always just such a pleasure to have some fun with nice you in the kitchen. Nice to see you, Alice. All right, we'll see you soon. I hope you'll get this home. I do hope you'll try it. It really is just unbelievable that experience you, that you're gonna have. So that's available, but you may not have known